Documenting Reasonable Adjustments. I'm Jackie Collins and I'm an Access and Inclusion Advisor at TAFE SA. When I'm working um, with a lecturer and a student around identifying inherent requirements of a course and the reasonable adjustments that need to be implemented, the process I use is usually I'll make the time to, to speak with the lecturer and we will unpack the training package. We will build up a nice little diagram or template um, and we'll, we'll put the competency in there or core tasks and then we'll hash out what are some of the supports that can be put in place, whether they're reasonable and we'll take into consideration um, industry standards, what the actual core skill is and what the adjustment um, is doing. Is it giving an unfair advantage? Is it stopping the student from um, being able to reach that competency? individually. Um, so we'll really have a good conversation around core skills, what adjustments might be implemented and whether that's reasonable. And what we do from that point is um, we record all of that down into the template and then um, what we'll do is we will meet with the lecturer and um, the student and discuss some of those things and it really needs to be a joint effort and um, we really need to be on the same page and the student needs to agree with it. The student needs to think that this is reasonable for them as well. After that's been negotiated and recorded, I record it on, in my notes um, and the lecturer also records it as well in the student file. To help formalise the, the process, we've actually developed a template that highlights the, the core competency or the unit, what the um, negotiated or potential reasonable adjustment is, and who and how it will be implemented. This video was produced for the Disability Awareness Supporting Students in Vet Resource. For more information, visit www.disabilityawareness.com.au.